Okay, welcome to the DeLorean kit build part 4. Um, today we're going to be doing the top of the nuclear reactor and the Mr. Fusion. Uh, there's a few fiddly bits this week. Um, the top of the reactor is pretty easy to put together, but uh, Mr. Fusion, there's two very, very small springs in there which I think are going to drive people crazy. So. Uh, Without any further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, uh, the first thing you do is you take the um, yellow top for the nuclear reactor and slip it in there. Uh, be aware, it doesn't actually hold in place very well. You know. There's there's only one tang that holds it in position so uh, it drops out quite easily I mean it's fine when the model is that way up obviously it's going to be mounted that way up when it's set in the car but you see <laughs> there's, there's not much holding that in so I'm, I'm going to leave that out just for the moment uh, just the effects of gravity um, so taking this part note the three holes in there one of the holes is a different size and that's to line up with the peg on there. Okay. And then we take two AP screws and slot them in here. As well as AP screws in this kit, there are some CP screws included, which I think are the smallest screws I've ever seen in my life. They are absolutely tiny. We'll be meeting them later. Okay, so that's screwing part. So look at the part numbers. This is screwing part four A onto part. Four for B I think, if uh, you're interested in the part numbers. As I say, do the screws tight but don't don't overdo it. Because you are uh, you are of course screwing into plastic and it's quite easy to strip the threads if you have been overzealous with it. There we go. Tight but uh, not too tight. So there we are. That's that. Next stage is to take the clear plastic piece, um, which um, let's have a look at the part number. I'm into part numbers today. You take part 4D and that gets screwed in place there. And again, you're using the AP screws to hold it in place. There we go. Another AP screw. The only trouble with these magnetic screwdrivers is they tend to pick up two or three screws at the same time. Right. This is all the transparent cover on. I think in the finished model there's a light source behind here so you can take the yellow cap off and you can sort of see the reactor glowing inside. I think that's the idea of them. And again, don't do these screws too tight because I think that uh, that clear plastic piece will uh, will crack if you over tighten the screws. So there we go. That's that. And we'll put the uh, we'll put the lid on there. Let's line it all up. Go. 
so that's uh, that's what you end up with that's, uh, that's the easy bit I think the Mr. Fusion assembly is going to be a bit more complicated but uh, we'll do it by numbers as the book suggests and uh, we'll see how we get on right you take the two halves of the Mr. Fusion which uh, obviously used to be some sort of food processor or a coffee grinder or something I mean in real life it was made from a, a coffee grinder or a food processor obviously Mr. Fusion doesn't really exist but I'm, I'm going to be critical of this because that side of Mr. Fusion is great you know it, it looks good and the quality of this printing is fantastic you know it's, it's a great little model but you turn it over and you are going to have three great big screws visible um, so uh, that's not uh, that's not quite so good as uh, as, it, as it might be you know may, maybe in a later issue there's going to be three little white bungs that are put over the screws so you can't see them but uh, I think uh, I think that could have been done slightly better so the screws weren't visible but hey ho that's what we've got <coughs> again we're using uh, three AP screws to secure the two halves of it together. There's uh, there's there's a lot more to do in this issue. Uh, there's a lot more. Uh, to it than the previous ones. And one last screw. go that's the two halves of the Mr. Fusion body screwed together now you've got to take part 4k and 4l which uh, are these little bits here you see those and you just could put the top onto there it, it should just clip in according to the instructions oh that's interesting it doesn't, uh, doesn't seem to clip in it could, I think you could do with a drop of glue that it, do, it doesn't say to glue it in the instructions it just says attach the transparent lid 4k to the Mr. Fusion chamber component 4L Well, as you can see, that doesn't actually clip in. That just sort of just sits there. I think the idea is <coughs> that it all sticks together when you assemble it. Let's have a go. And that's just supposed to clip in there. Slot the assembled transparent chamber into the corresponding gap in the shell. Okay. Right. Well, that does that that does clip in. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm very tempted to put a drop of glue on there, but um, it doesn't mention any glue in the instructions. But uh, yeah, that seems to hold in place. And then you put part four N into the top of it, and I think that uh, again just clips in. Yeah that's right so there we are that's, uh, that's a Mr. Fusion all assembled um, it is a shame you can see the screws on the other side though that, that, uh, that is a pity because the, the rest of it is very accurate and very good okay now we move on to the the lid so you're taking the white lid uh, part 4F and 
this sort of bit of the hinge here, which is part 4G, and you're holding that in place there. Okay, I'm just going to tweak my focus and it seems to have it up a bit. There we are, that's better. Now again you're using two AP screws. It's got to be said, this is I think the most fiddly of the issues we've had so far. Um, I've got quite big hands, so it's not um, not particularly easy if you've got <laughs> If you've got sort of big hands and uh, you, you need somebody with tiny little fingers to assemble this, I think. Okay, I'm just going to uh, adjust that. I'm just going to do that again. This really is much more fiddly than the. Uh, than the previous issues we've had. Let's try that. Yeah, that's got it. I'll just put the two screws sort of halfway in at first and then fully tighten them together. I'll just have a play with the focus on the camera. It's, uh, it's actually very cold today. And, uh, it's not having, a, not having a good effect on the camera. I don't think. There we are, that's better. Right. Okay, we're using the two AP screws to put the, uh, the hinge piece in. I'm going to have to back those off slightly. That uh, that hinge has gone solid. Just, just going to have to just back them off a little bit so it will move. What does it say in the instructions about this? Make sure that the large circular screw hole on the hinge is positioned as shown. Yeah, that's right. Um, so the the two hinge screws here, you can't fully tighten them, or the hinge will lock up. So you have to sort of leave them a little bit loose. It doesn't say that in the instructions. It should. Do it. There we go. Yeah. So those two screws don't fully tighten them, or your hinge won't work. There we are. That's got it. Right. What's next? Right. Taking the reactor body. What what it calls it, the Mr. Fusion chamber. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be screwing the hinge onto here. screw again. My screwdriver's just picked up three screws again. Okay. Let's see if that lines up. Line it up with the hole. 
which is again a little bit fiddly. I don't know if you can see the two holes in there, they don't uh, they don't look terribly central to me, but uh, we shall carry on. So it's a bit difficult to find the hole here, there were misses. actually very tricky to line up. Oh, I think we've got it. There we go. Let's check that lid goes down. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's... Um It's not sitting particularly flat, that, uh, that hinge. Let's just uh, take it off again. See what's occurring. Does that need to go further down? Yeah, um, there's actually two holes drilled in that chamber. Um, and one of them is too high up and the other one is too low down so which hole are you supposed to well you can't use the bottom one it won't fit and the top one is too proud um, it has to be said this uh, I'll have a look at this. Part 4G. Ah, no. No, right. <laughs> I've just noticed something. You can tell these videos are live, can't you? There's two sides to the reactor. One side's got two holes in. And that side's only got one hole in. And that's the right, and that's the side you want for the uh, hinge. Right. right, I'm with it now. Right, it all makes sense. Right. I was actually trying to screw it into the wrong side of the, of the reactor case then. I thought it didn't look like it fitted properly. <laughs> right, right, we're back on the game now. Okay, nip this up. I know I'm always saying it, but it's important. Nip, nip the screws up, but don't do them too tight, because if you crack anything, you'll be in real trouble. There we go, that's got it. Panic over. Okay. Let's have a look at the next page. See what uh, see what they want us to do next. <coughs> okay, okay. Right. Fitness diffusion to the top of the re reactor. pop him on there and uh, use another AP screw to hold it all in place. This is another one of those jobs where you need three pairs of hands to hold everything. It says just hold in place by one screw. I'd be I'd be tempted to put a, a drop of super glue on there as well, but uh, the instructions say just screw it in place. So that's what we're going to do. 
going to line this up with the pin as well. Oh, this is a this is a bit fiddly. <laughs> I think this is the most fiddly of the uh, four builds we've had so far. That's definitely. Or maybe it's my big hands that are the problem. I don't know. Screw that in place there. Okay, that's it. There we go. Yeah, there we are. That's Mr. Fusion. Sat on top of the top of the chamber there. Okay. Now we've got to take part four J I beg your pardon, four I and four H and we're gonna make the hinge up. Be this little red piece here. Yeah, that looks okay. Yeah, that works all right. It's quite, uh, it's quite delicate though. Uh, that's quite good that yeah. ok we're making the hinge oh now I think we're on to the CP screws yes we are which are the, uh, the smallest screws in the universe that and the other part of the hinge my god these are small these are small screws these screws I don't think they're for model making I think they're for making watches the <laughs> Right, I've got one on the end of my screwdriver, but uh, you probably can't see it because it's that tiny. It really, really is small. Oh, I've got it in. There we go. Uh, again, you can't do them too tight, or the hinge, the hinge will lock up. I'm going to leave them a, a little bit loose. There we go. Yeah, that's uh, that's working. Do the other side. These are so small; it's incredible. off a bit because the hinge is going a bit stiff. And I'm not sure how much movement that's going to have on it. Back them off a bit more. There we go. That's, uh, that should be sufficient, I think. Now, this is going to be the interesting part. Oh no, we don't put the springs in just yet. Right, we mount it to the body.
that's using an AP screw an AP screw, will that go in? Yes it will. Just going to line that up with a hole. That's how dealing with that open would be a bit, bit, bit easier. This is definitely uh, the most involved Bit of model making we've had to do so far in the door. I mean, this is a uh, it's quite labour intensive, really. <laughs> okay, nip up that screw there. Okay, and that's uh, It's not sitting quite square, that. I'm not, uh, I'm not happy with that, but I'll, I'll do that again. <coughs> I think the two little CP screws at the side, they've got to be screwed further in. I didn't want to screw them too far in to make the hinge go stiff, but uh, I don't think they'll fit otherwise. Try that. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks a bit better. Still not, uh, still not fitting between the uh, the fins on there. Interesting. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, tighten them up a bit more. as tight as I dare do them. Still not fitting, I don't know if you can see the problem there, but it's still not fitting square um, with the uh, body of the reactor. So uh, I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to have a, a closer inspection of this. I shall be back in a moment.